Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'm taking a look at my Xbox 360 collection. Um, it's a collection update as I've got quite a few uh, more uh, Xbox 360 games uh, and whatnot. but yeah, uh, I'll briefly go over what I think of each one, kind of, maybe, but yeah. Um, Homefront, it's okay, it's kind of like your average uh, first person shooter, so... I kind of wanted to get it because it's a multiplayer, but obviously of this recording, the multiplayer is pretty much dead and down. Uh, like the servers and everything, so the single player is okay, but it is uh, pretty short. But then again, I'm on normal difficulty, and it's the AI are a bit ridiculously, stupidly kind of more difficult than what I'd expect from normal, personally. Borderlands 2, uh, I still haven't got around to playing any of this, but I've heard that it's a really good game, so that's why I got it, of course. Um, and then the next, these three games I got from this place in Bradford in town called um, That's Entertainment. Three of these games, this, this, and the next game for a tenner, which is a bargain. Enslaved Odyssey to the West, which I've heard is a really good sort of hidden gem on the 360, a, a really good sort of action adventure, 3D action adventure type uh, game. But it was just it went under the radar and no one really picked it up because it wasn't well marketed or exposed out there and stuff, so the people who do have it really do like it, so... Uh, these two next games I got from a friend who said that I think they were getting a PS4 and stuff, so they didn't want these games, which are Far Cry 4, which I still haven't played, and um, Far Cry 3, which I've heard is the better, ver the better one out of the two. Uh, Tomb Raider, the new one, um, absolutely loved it until I got stuck, of course. Um, up until that point, I really enjoyed it. The, the graphics, the cutscenes are amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. Like, you know how people say Last of Us was graphically impressive? This is to Last of Us standards uh, in the on the cutscenes and stuff. So, yeah, amazing. And also, even in-game sort of footage of, of you walking around places and stuff feels very... Uh, you know, good, uh, like, graphically and stuff, and it also, like, the island just feels so rich and alive, like, none of the levels feel like levels, they feel like you're actually exploring just a normal, uh, terrain. Minecraft, uh, what can I say that hasn't been said already about this game? It's Minecraft, I've played a lot of it, but at this point of this recording, I am pretty much burnt out on it, as much as I do like the game, and I go back every now and then, just to spend a few, um, an hour or two or even just 30 to 40 minutes of just playing um, the game or something, you know, trying to build some up, but yeah. South Park The Stick of Truth, still not got any further on that, but then again, uh, my brother insists it's because I haven't got any healing potions and also I've got it on normal difficulty. Uh, Centro 4, I've completed the whole campaign, haven't fully finished the game though, got it to like a nearly like 100% and like I'm... Um, I think like 40, you know, not 40, 50 something, 60 something percent through the game. I think it's really fun, very uh, bombastic and uh, again just one of those games where you can just kill a lot of time playing it because it's so dumb and stupid and it's one of those games where it's a game, not a proper serious game, like uh, South Park Stick of Truth as well. Uh, Skyrim, I mainly got this for collection purposes, you know, because it's like a game everyone needs in their collection, I, I, I guess, even though to be fair, I'm not actually a big fan of it and I can never get into it, so why do I have it? Again, mainly for collection purposes, because, you know, everyone else would be, in, it'd be all like, oh, why don't you have that game, or whatever, but Halo 4, which is a decent game, from what I remember playing the campaign, um, played a bit of the multiplayer, it's not the best multiplayer. Halo uh, Combat Evolved Anniversary, really good. I think I bought this brand new, and I think I got that for Christmas. Uh, and on when I first started playing that, that looked amazing, Halo 4. Uh, this looked amazing, you know, this is pretty cool. Like You can go between the two graphics of the old one and the new one. And it's the only Xbox 360 game where I've got it as a slipcover. So, you know, it's it's got the slipcovery thing, which I thought was pretty cool. Because uh, it just adds to the authenticity of this sort of collectory type uh one Halo Reach, which still has some of the best multiplayer maps, or well, not so much multiplayer maps, but just some of the best multiplayer moments uh, in uh, Halo for me. Like you know, I just love playing the Halo Reach uh, multiplayer, and the campaign is really solid and really good. 
and unfortunately, from what I remember, well, actually, no, 343 Industries, no, um, yeah, I think this was the last one by Bungie, won it, yeah, uh, I think 343 did Halo 4, so, um, Halo 3 ODST, it's, it's a decent game, but it's more, more than anything, it's more of a spin-off from the Halo franchise, so, Halo 3, I didn't have, I don't think, Xbox Live when I got this, so, yeah, uh, Gears of War Judgment, I really regret buying that brand new because it's not worth the amount of money that I paid for it. It's DLC with even glorified... It's glorified DLC with a bit of DLC added on. Like, even the campaigns... The campaign's clearly quite short. Like, the... I think People Can Fly, I think, did the campaign and Epic Games did the um, multiplayer. And the multiplayer is decent and it works. But then I, I feel like Epic Games, when... Uh, People Can Fly Studios said they'd finished the campaign or finished making it. Epic Games were like, okay, let's see if it's any good. And then played it and then were just like, whoa, that was way too short. Because when you finish the campaign, you get this thing called Aftermath, which is basically some more missions and that. And again, even even uh, some of the multiplayer is a bit iffy, really. It, it's Gears of War, but it just feels very much like a, a, tack, a tacky sort of add-on to the Gears of War franchise that we didn't really ask for or want. Gears of War 3, which I think is one of the best Gears of War, uh, personally. Um, I love Gears of War 3, like, Horde mode is really refined. I, all the multiplayer from Gears 2 is just so much better in this game, in my opinion. This is the best Gears of War game, personally. Um, Gears of War 2, I, I love the campaign, but the multiplayer, much like with Halo 3, when I got my Xbox 360, I didn't have... Uh, Xbox Live, so now obviously in retrospect, there's no one on there and and stuff. And the controls in the Gears of War franchise have con changed quite a bit uh, and a lot in Gears Judgment, which is one of the com major complaints I personally have with Gears of War Judgment uh, or Judgment Day. Is it? Uh, yeah, Judgment uh, is the fact that the controls are very much different from some of the older ones, which had better controls. Lollipop Chainsaw again, it's one of those games where it's just mental sporadic it's a video game and if you want to play a fun video game then you're gonna like lollipop chainsaw uh but yeah it's it's not for the people who want a serious game uh call of duty world at war it's a decent game it's um it's a call of duty game it's the only call of duty game i have anymore because i just like playing zombies and um yeah, I, I, I like playing the zombies. The campaign was actually decent, and it's one of the better uh, Call of Duty games, in my opinion, I think. Uh, Dishonored, still not played, or still not uh, finished the campaign. I've played it. It's one of those games where it insists you can go not stealthy, and then when you try and not go stealthy, you just die immediately, you know? And, and so, really, you're forced to be stealthy, so if you're not that good at doing the stealthy stuff, then you're going to be stuck like me. Tekken 6, really good uh, local multiplayer game if you have two controllers. Uh, really good, refined uh, Tekken game. One of the, probably the best Tekken games. I've not played Tekken Tag Tournament 1 or 2, so I can't really comment on the Tekken Tag Tournament games. But for the main franchise, I think, I think Tekken 6 is one of the most refined, best, um, polished and refined yeah, Tekken games out there so far. Uh, but then again, Tekken 7 is probably going to be coming out for Xbox One and PS4 soonish, hopefully. And so I'm hoping it's better than this, obviously, to improve on it. Um, Burnout Paradise, a fantastic racing game. It's very arcadey, just frantic, fun, amazing. I've spent a lot of hours in this game, probably, and I absolutely adore it. Uh, one of the best racing games on the 360 for me, but then again, it's the only one I have. But still, it's 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 a good game. It's a fun game. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed 2. I actually really like this. Uh, to most people's dismay, probably and hate for this game. I actually really liked it. I even bought some of the DLC or uh, DLC thing in for the uh, added uh, campaign bit. Uh, so that was the thing. Refraction Armageddon. Um, in retrospective, I wish I hadn't bought this brand new. Uh, but then again, at the time when I did buy it, I've probably spent a good amount of time on it. That it's actually probably well worth buying brand new. Uh, even though it's kind of like Gears of War Judgment and uh, Halo 3 ODST. It's kind of something in the uh, Refraction uh, franchise that we didn't want really, but we got anyway. 
Uh, Red Faction Gorilla, superb game. Just one of the earliest, probably, games I have in my collection that I've still got from a long time ago. Like, uh, if you look back on some of my really old videos about my collection of 360 games, this this will still hopefully be there in, in that because, again, it's just that good. Um, even though I haven't played it in a long time, I just distinctly remember killing stuff and loving playing the campaign and blowing shit up which is always fun in video games just blowing the shit out of stuff um on mars as well so yeah this has been my xbox 360 collection um uh i think last time i counted it, it's at 26 games which is pretty cool um yeah a lot of different varied games as well too um and i do like playing a lot of them and yeah it's been fun collecting and I'm not going to be stopping anytime soon really. But yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate and subscribe.